Hello everybody, uh, today I'll, uh, I'll be reviewing a RC boat. Uh, the reviewing, uh, the RC boat I'm reviewing is the Hyper Toyco, uh, RC boat. Uh, this RC boat can go pretty darn fast, uh, I don't have its quite speed yet, but, uh, um, I will be showing y'all on camera how fast it can go, um, today, and also, uh, a good review video about it. Um, one thing I like about it for sure, though, is its transmitter right here, Hyper Toyco transmitter, um, is waterproof. That's why it has two screws on the battery bay. It has a gasket in there, actually, right there, and to keep it waterproof, and that's why the buttons look so funny. Um, but for some odd reason, instead of having the forward backwards and left and right, they have it uh, left and right and then forward backwards. So this transmitter is just a little bit flipped, if you... Don't understand why that. And this one, this transmitter doesn't have an on and off switch either. Um, this boat uh, is a lithium powered battery. It has a lithium battery in it and it's also rechargeable. That's why this little plug right here, if you pull this, it's a little charging port in there. And your boat comes with a charging cable and it takes about an hour and a half to two hours to charge. Uh, the reason why I have a piece of duct tape right there is because that's the on and off switch right there. But I managed to break my on and off switch on accident, so I have to have a piece of tape on it to hold it down to keep it on. That's alright. Uh, luckily, what's easy about it, though, is you can easily trim it because the propeller to the um, prop is right there. And then you just pop off these four uh, clips right here, and then you can just grab it and pull it out. And then you can see all the inner components. But you don't necessarily always have to do that, but it's always good whenever you're done driving it to... Um, uh, dump it out of water and grab a paper towel and wipe it up, make sure it's all clean. And then, um, it doesn't have a, a camera mount on it, but just using my little action camera, I'm just gonna grab some duct tape and, um, just kind of duct tape it right there and drive it around for you guys. I'm gonna drive it around normally, just recording it with the camera, and then I'll, I'll switch to that one. Alrighty, let's get out on the water. Alrighty, guys, I have it out on the water. I'm on Bayou Olson right now, which is salt water. Uh, it is really fast. It's a good little RC boat, especially just for the price range of $30. It's not bad at all. Um, I got it for $29.99 at Walmart. Um, I got to retrim it. That's why it decides to go in its own direction. But it goes very fast. I like it a lot. Very fun. Alrighty, well then, uh, might as well just go ahead and switch you all to the better camera angle. Also, I'd like to say that this boat has an amazing range, and also, uh, waterproof is, uh, uh, I mean, transmission is waterproof. Uh, that black thing on the front of it is my camera that I'm recording right now with. I'll show you one thing real quickly. Check this out. It still works. Check it out. Transmitter still works perfectly fine. All you just really need to do is just grab it and just wipe it off on your shirt and you're good to go. That's what I love about it. In case you're swimming and you drop it in your swimming pool, it's not game over yet. Alrighty. Well, I'm going to dock it real quickly. Alrighty, guys. Um, this RC boat's very fun, especially since it has a waterproof transmitter. Uh, we just got done with, uh, you guys seeing the camera on the boat, how I literally had it duct tape sitting right here. That was really cool. Uh, it looks awesome, because I just checked the uh, footage. Like I said, uh, it gets very wet, and, uh, inside of it gets a little bit of water. Not every time doing this, it gets a little water out of it. Uh, you just gotta pull off the cover and grab a paper towel, and I'll wash it out. And I dip my transmitter in the water, and guess what? It still works perfectly fine. See? So that's awesome. Um, this little RC boat, like I said, was only $30. So I totally recommend you picking up at Walmart uh, at a, just at a, in the RC section. Uh, I bought the blue one. Uh, I saw a box of a gray one, so it's got those two good colors. The gray one looks pretty cool, but I wanted the blue one instead. Um, it's pretty fun. Uh, for the charger, all you need to have is a little spot to plug in the USB. And that'd be about it. Well, I appreciate you guys watching. Um, comment, like, and subscribe. Tell me what you think about this little boat. Uh, tell me uh, what other video I should be uh, doing next because 
Uh, I'm probably going to do a video on my RC drone, if not my RC crawler. Alrighty, well, you guys have a nice day. Goodbye.